Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this new episode of Mad Scientists Explain, where we're gonna be shooting a little bit of dino scene this week. We're at our friend shop, Performance Ultimates. The reason why is since we've released the announcement about the PM09600cc from Pantera and the cylinder for the CR500, we keep getting questions about how much horsepower, what's the power band, etc. So, the thing is, hard to tell a number and we've always been kind of conservative about what we're saying because people all think their CR500 has 100 horsepower and quite frankly they don't so what we've decided to do we've decided to do some compare today we have our shop CR500 right here which we're going to be running on the dyno we found a brand new OEM Honda cylinder and head so we can put back that motorcycle just like Honda intended it to be and see how much horsepower it makes. We're gonna be testing different pipes. We got FMF, we got the high horsepower CPI pipe right there as well. And from there, we're gonna be switching to a highly fully modified ported cylinder, high exhaust, high compression uh, dome with the CPI exhaust as well to see what, what kind of horsepower this bike can put out on a normal CR500 cylinder. And from there, we're gonna be testing the new Panthera cylinder, this, the 560, when it's put on the CR500 from Honda. So, let's give it a look and let's see what the number tells. All right, so let's do it. First round CR500, completely stuck. Let's have a look at it, let's pull a run. Do another test, CPI pipe, high rev, well known to be a high horsepower pipe on a stock engine, let's see what it does. Cinema magic, everything's changed already. High compression head, ported, highly ported cylinder right there. Pretty much big horsepower kind of setup. Bora, 41.5 millimeter. That's pretty much all you can get out of that PWK. PI high rev, high rev exhaust. Um, so that's pretty much how everything you can get to get big numbers out, out, of, out of the CR500. So let's try this out. We'll test it, uh, jet properly to match what we had at an air fuel in the other test so we can compare same same jetting and uh, air fuel ratio. So let's give it a try and see what we can get out of it. All right, pretty interesting. Uh, we got 66 wheel out of this run, which I think was a little bit what I expected, 70-ish or something out of that setup. Uh, keep in mind that it's max bore, 91 millimeters, CR500, uh, high compression that runs on race gas only, so probably a little bit more that could be squeezed out of it, but that gives you an idea of what you can get, that nice over rev, high RPM. I mean, we fit that, we, we went all, of, all the way up to 9,500 almost, so that's really high, a high horsepower, high RPM engine. Uh, a little curious to compare it right here, just to see compared to a stock CR500. I really want to know what the differences are, so let's add the overlay of the first run we've done earlier today. There you see it, yeah, pretty much all uh, all high RPM, You've, we've lost all that lower torque from the, the CR500, obviously the exhaust ports are much higher, bigger porting, so that's 
that's kind of what you can expect out of a, a CR500, which must not be fun to run in the low RPM, but definitely pulls pretty good on top end. So, yeah, let's have a look and now uh, change for the Panther cylinder and see what we can get compared to these guys. Magic again, let's see what we can do with this Panther 560 cylinder right there, power valve uh, installed. And we'll, uh, we'll test right now and see uh, how it compares to the other setup we've, we've tested today. Let's go! guys coming over day is, day is done uh, we've had some tweaking of power valve to do uh, pretty simple when you test a new pipe new power valve you gotta you know pull around fully open fully closed and you set when your uh, your valve needs to open uh, that's what we end up our day with pretty significant 73 horse at the wheel uh, I think the power valve opened a little early here maybe we could have smoothed it up a little bit uh, but I think it's a significant pretty cool third core uh, third core almost uh, 50, 50 pound of torque everywhere. Really happy about it. Uh, and yeah, keep following us. We'll do a full video about analysis of those data and seeing how it compares and why it's so different on the Panthera cylinder compares to the CR500. Uh, keep in mind this is fully pump gas, 11 to one compression. So a pretty significant result here, I think. Uh, and yeah, let's just keep following us and let's see you guys for the next video.